Hey, hey, hey! What is popping off? Do you guys like the look? To be fair, I've worn this before, but you know, it's pretty top. <laughs> I would stand up and do a twerk for you, but I've actually got no pants on. But welcome to Friday's sip and soleil. I forgot, I actually got nothing in this glass, I need to fill it up. But I thought I would say, hey, what's going on? This week's sip and slay is pre-recorded. I love doing it live, but I just feel like I need to do it one week on and off, but we have so much to speak about. I'm gonna make a drink while we speak. So get yourself a drink, get yourself some snacks, come on back and let's get ready for sip and slay. Actually, where the hell's my vodka? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait a damn minute. <laughs> okay, I got my vodka. So I got this for my birthday, yeah, because my sister got this for my birthday. It's actually 50 cents vodka called Effin Vodka. Um, I really think 50 cents problematic, but you know what? She got me for a birthday present and the vodka is good. Welcome to the Sip and Slate. If I'm a bit quiet, it's because it's like 2.53 in the morning and tomorrow is gonna be, well, when this goes live, it's obviously gonna go live on Friday and in London, it's gonna be 34 degrees and that is the devil's weather. So let's make a cocktail. So um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. And obviously if it's your first time to my channel, my name is Gary, aka The Plastic Boy. And I do Sip and Slay every Friday where we talk celebrity news, makeup anything what's going on really i normally do them live but this week is pre-recorded um if you guys don't know i used to work for mac years ago and i got a pleasure of working with them again this year for, uh, for national lipstick day and they launched in boots and they sent oh they did this mailer where they sent this cocktail out it's, it's basically a mixer so what i'm gonna do they also sent this as well which has ice in it and this is like a mac cocktail mixer so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put some vodka and some of this mixer and we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna get lit I have to be up in four hours for the gym, but I love you guys so much. So you guys better like this video, first of all. How many, how much vodka? <laughs> that's, oh my God, that's too much vodka. Who cares though, sip and slay, girl get lit. It's Friday and that is on period. And we're gonna pour this in here. Do my Dex's laboratory, it's literally like that. Oh, oh my God, that almost went on me. Okay, then we're gonna, hold on, we added the vodka, we added that. How do I do this? Okay. Come to Papa. Ooh. Okay, let me get a glass straw, put this down, and we can get right into all this tea. That's the tea, sis. So guys, if I haven't got you onto glass straws yet, glass straws are totally a vibe. Hold on, am, am I? Can you hear me good? Can you hear me good? So anyway, let's try this. Jesus, that is strong. What in the in the club is going on? Party, okay. So this sip and slay is gonna be, there wasn't that much juicy topics going on, but I do feel like there's a lot. And if you guys ask me, I've got the Natasha Denona um, palette on my eyes. Um, it's the bronze one. No, is it the bronze one? Which one, which one is it? The bronze one, yeah. I feel like that is the best soft glam palette for a deeper skin tone. Obviously there's Anastasia one, but this one just, it just does something to my soul. I just use that palette. So, okay, let's go through topics. Okay, okay, okay. So let's talk about Miss Nikki Mana. Okay, so Nikki previewed her song. So guys, you guys know, this is a biased situation. I am a full-fledged Bob, like period. And she released her song with ASAP Fair called Movie Hips. Mm, I'm not the biggest fan. Mm, actually, I do love ASAP, but I like Plain Jane and I like New Level. So they released their new song today. And obviously, oh, let me just show you the video, but I have to mute it because I don't want to get copyrighted. She looks sick. So she's rapping her verse, hold on. So that is the song and it's called Movie Hips. So she previewed this and obviously, I didn't realize what drama was going on. So if you guys don't realize, there's this guy called Arrogant Tay and he does everyone's hair like, who does he do? He does Dream Doll, he does Ari, he does Nicki Minaj, he does, he does basically all the baddest bitches in the game. And um, obviously he does Nikki's hair. So Nikki came onto live. You know, Nikki never really does Instagram lives. So I didn't know about the situation. So Nikki said her hairstylist, which I knew was Tay, canceled on her 48 hours because she wanted to really have this ha the hairdo in that video for the song because she says Chinese bangs, um, braids. Ch no, she goes Chinese bangs, braids, something like that. And she goes strawberry hair, whatever. Something to do with the hair. But anyway, she says this and basically 
he cancelled on her 48 hours before the shoot, but he said that he had his teeth appointment. But it's really crazy to me because if I knew I was gonna get my teeth done and Nicki Minaj asked me to prepare a wig, it depends. I feel like the situation's very skeptical because she said that he cancelled then her, then she asked him to make the wig and send it to her and then he didn't do it. But it's all, it just seems a bit fishy to me because if that was me, I'd be like, well, okay, my teeth really needs doing. When is the date for the song to be released? And I'll make the wig for you or I'll come and do the hair at a certain time. It's Nicki Minaj. It's Nicki Minaj. Like, you would make the time. If it was Beyonce, you would make the time for anyone. So anyway, he comes onto his Instagram and he, and he says basically that he had a teeth appointment and how he was, fr he, he considers Nicki Minaj a friend and Nicki didn't reach out to him personally, even though she does that normally her team reached out to him, so it wasn't direct contact, so apparently cancelled and then. The messiest thing about it is, Arrogant Tate had beef with some guy called, called I Am Jonathan, who apparently is straight, because I spoke about him in the last Sip and Slay, and you guys were saying he's straight and got kids? Because remember I said, would you do Jeffree Star's hair for 20K, even though he's problematic? And some of you were like, well, I'll take the cash and then not post the video. And some of you were like, well, yeah, it depends on the situation. And I went, it depends, you know, it kind of depends, but... Mm. So anyway, that whole situation happened, but I was just like, first of all, everyone seems unprofessional. I feel like, first of all, if you're an MUA, hairstylist you shouldn't be speaking on clients and the situation because Nicki Minaj even though people love her hair I love her you can't be speaking about A-list clients like that on Instagram but he obviously does a lot of people as well but I think the situation isn't real because I know that Tay and Nicki are quite good friends he, he's done her hair for the longest amount of time and if you don't remember in the shade room Tay, Dream Doll and Ari who dates money <laughs> <laughs> who dates Moneybag Yo are doing a reality TV show. I don't know who's gonna watch. Mm, I, I feel like in America, I've said this before, you guys put so many girls on. Like Dream Doll was on Bad Girls Club for one episode. She was a bully, but I do like that song. Ah, ah, ah. In my na, na, na. How does it go? In my uh, uh, uh. We are going to pretend we didn't hear that. I just feel like the beef is fake. Um, Jonathan obviously did her hair and... <laughs> People are dragging it, but I, feel, I think Nikki looks beautiful pregnant. She looks so good cute, but I do feel like the beef is fake because I feel like why would Nicki Minaj come onto her live and speak about Tay and the situation when she really doesn't need to do that? You're a sis, you're pregnant, and why would you speak about the situation? You're above that. I just feel like, I just feel like it's just, it's definitely, it's definitely created drama, but girl, I don't know. I don't know. Period. So guys, I'm a bit of a weird mood. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I literally did an Instagram live and I'm not sure what's going on recently, but you know, sometimes I feel like as a content creator, um, even on YouTube, I get comments that sometimes really affect, not affect me, but like you see comments and like, you're like, oh girl, I love that for me. So we all are human and you just gotta think, I think people need to be really aware when you're saying things to people because certain comments can really not affect you but it just trigger certain things and it just oh you could be having the best day but some hater really just want to hate on you but it doesn't affect me but i just went on live and i I, I'm, I know this is off topic but i feel like there's a group of people that have an instagram group and whenever i go on live they must alert each other and they all come on my live and just say bare shit and obviously they're watching me but it's just really just annoying and draining and I it just it doesn't annoy me but it's just more draining because there's so much things going on in the world and it's for like bitch you really want to watch me at 2 a.m and call me homophobic slurs like who the fuck are you okay so let's speak about Beyonce okay so I've seen the trailer to Black is King I haven't watched it I think it's on Disney girl I don't even have Disney plus I feel like, I just feel like, why would I need, I, I need the Mr. World Premiere, I need someone to send me the copy, if, if anyone has a link where I can watch it, send it to me, because I, I'm not, I'm not, I am not subscribing to Disney Plus for that, actually, I might have it, do I have it for free? I don't know, but Black is King looks amazing, there's word is that Beyonce is going to be Storm, I love Beyonce, she's so talented, she's probably one of the best performers of our time, but Storm and Beyonce just, Beyonce would overshadow the character because 
it's Beyonce. You, you won't see Storm, and I feel like it's different, but this Black is King is very Beyonce, but I'm not sure if it's a movie or a music video. It looks very, it looks like a visual album. That's what it looks like to me, but it looks very, very beautiful. Let me guys know in the comments below if you're gonna watch it. Obviously, whatever Beyonce touches, obviously turns to gold, but I would love to see Beyonce bring out a beauty line, skincare. I, I just find it weird that she's never ever done that and I don't think she would ever do a beauty line just because Rihanna's done it and I feel like if Beyonce did a beauty line I'm not sure what she would really fit into because Beyonce's glam is very natural Um, I know Sir John used to do her makeup but I know it's for Cal Beauty at the moment but if Beyonce did a beauty line would you guys buy it? Would you, would you buy it? Like I just don't know Beyonce is just never been a makeup kind of girl like you know when you look at Beyonce she's beautiful but her makeup's beautiful but you just don't think of her as that kind of like beat down makeup lip liner you just think you know she just has an emmy way she just likes the natural glam but would you guys buy if i think if she did like skincare i would buy it because her skin is low-key stunning but mm, mm, uh, 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 oh no <sighs> the next thing guys <laughs> okay let's look at my teeth so nini leaks so I'm really confused. The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, let's speak about this. I don't know who this girl is. Actually, I know of her, but you guys may know her. So for all my people that live in America, Real Housewives of Atlanta have decided to get the first YouTube. Well, she's a YouTuber who's gonna be on the series. I can't remember her name, but you guys can correct me. You can just Google it. Can't remember what her name is, but she's a black YouTuber. I've researched her. She's got like a million subscribers. She's gonna be like the first YouTuber to be on a reality TV show, which is props to her. Sis, do your thing, collect the bag, period. We're getting someone else in there, but Oh, I think Eva's a friend to the show. Eva, Eva just, oh, keep having babies and do something because child, oh, oh, I can't be able to speak about Eva. But anyway, Nini's contract is still being negotiated, which I find very weird. Remember when she compared herself to George Floyd, which was very, very mad. I do feel like Nini needs to be careful because oh, even though the show is, oh, I feel like the show could be better. Like they definitely, I know it wouldn't ever happen, but they could definitely bring Phaedra back. <laughs> they could definitely bring Phaedra back because that would be so juicy. Imagine Phaedra and Candy and oh, it'd be so messy. Phaedra's shade is so beautiful. She's probably, Kenya can throw shade the most. That actually, Phaedra's probably better throwing shade. Remember when Phaedra read, read Kenya, but when she wanted to have like a sperm bank donut, it was actually a mad, mad thing but anyway nini's leaks his contracts being um negotiated because i don't think they want her to be on the show anymore which i find strange because she is a big part of the show but i feel like because she's been in it for the longest and she's one of the most original housemates which with, with the most personality you know when someone thinks they're above the show and i feel like nini's so amazing but i feel like sometimes her energy can be quite negative but i do love her and i feel like I just feel like they need to show her in a more positive light because I feel like even on TV she might, she might be saying things but they may be showing her in a different light but I don't know would you guys want, want to see Nini leave? I just feel like Atlanta Housewives is getting a bit dry now. I feel like the, the castmates are always changing. Bring back Phaedra. Sheree. No don't bring back. Kim. Just bring back Phaedra girl because I'm just done because I'm just like. Oh. Ciao. Child. I'll be eating. I'm literally sweating, guys. I am sweating. I'm trying not to be loud because every time I speak loudly when doing videos, I get noise complaints, but okay, whatever. Okay, so I read this in the shade room that, you know how Kim went out to see Kanye in Wyoming and there was that picture of her crying, which I did feel kind of sorry for her because I do believe, sorry guys, I'm sweating. I do believe that she loves him, but Kanye needs help, but that family isn't helping him. And I don't really want to speak about this situation because it's so draining. It's draining me even speaking about it. And I feel like Kanye, I always wonder, does Kanye have any brothers or sisters or uncles? You never hear about his family or you always hear about the Kardashians and Kanye. Where, does he have any brothers or sisters? I just, I just feel like it's so weird. Like I know he had a cousin, which was on the series once, which, Oh, child, I need to move on because this situation is just too draining because, child, I need some more drink. Let me just, let me... Not this. Okay, so the next one is, oh, this isn't even news. Oh, actually, I don't think I've ever, hold on my centre. I don't think I've ever, like, admitted this, but I am a such a big 2 chains fan. Like, I love Big Booty Ho. I love, I love them strippers. I love um, Mercy. 
I love 2 chains, but oh, I just feel like Timberland and Swiss Beats really need to calm it down now. First of all, we were in the last episode today, we were talking about Usher versus Chris Brown. You can't compare the two. Usher has hits. Chris Brown is our artist of our time, but Usher has the category is very long, sis. It's very, very long. So anyway, the next verse is, is Rick Ross versus Two Chains. <sighs> Guys, you can't compare Rick Ross and Two Chains. Two Chains is a good rapper. I love Two Chains, but Rick Ross has hits. Hits. <laughs> First of all, blowing money fast. So sophisticated, because Rick Ross definitely has hits. Hold on, Rick Ross, Money in the Grave, yeah, Purple Lamborghini. Gold Roses, Child, why is Entanglements in the top songs? Oh, guys, listen, no, no, but he has hits though. Rick Ross has proper hits, so who do you, who do you guys prefer? Rick Ross or 2 Chains? Oh, it's a hard one, I love both, but for category, Rick Ross has so many songs, like, it's not, even, it's not even a fair battle at this point, it's above me, honestly, I'm just above it now. I just feel like Swiss Beats, I feel like, Usher and Chris Brown would be a, such a good battle. Missy Elliott versus Busta Rhymes and maybe Brandy. <laughs> Brandy versus Monica. But I love Brandy. I just love Brandy. I just, I love Monica, but Brandy for me has so many nostalgic moments. Like, remember when she played Cinderella with Whitney Houston? Listen. Oh, impossible. No, I can't, I can't. I'll get emotional. This eyelash will fly to Rome. I would like to see it. Okay, so this was on the shade room. So you know Ellen, the, what's her last name? Ellen, Ellen, the, the generous. Okay, so she's been accused of having racism behind the scenes on her show. Oh, child. I like Ellen and I like what she does on her show, but you know when sometimes people are too nice? Not too nice, but they do the most. They try and just please everyone. And when I see someone, I always feel like you have to have a bad streak. No one is just nice. Like when I meet someone, someone will be like, well, I don't like that person, you know, I don't like that. So people have different traits. With Ellen, I've always said like, something's not right there. Something's not, I don't know what it is, but something's not right. But she's been accused of being, well, not, I'm gonna, someone actually messaged me on Instagram saying, I need to start saying allegedly. So I'm gonna say, allegedly, hold on, allegedly, hold on, allegedly, allegedly accused of racism behind the scenes. But um, I'm not sure what's going on with Ellen, but um, you know, she was involved in the whole, um, well, she was allegedly involved in the um, the island with the, um, what's his name? I'm not gonna say his name on camera because I don't wanna be um, snipered at any moment, but the guy with the ep to the steen, um, you know, well, let's just move on because child, we don't, we're not sure who's watching this and I'm not trying to end up on the Daily Mail. <laughs> Cut the cameras. The next one is Doja Cat, so, where are we with Doja Cat? Is she cancelled? Like, it's like Morphe. I like Morphe and I don't think Morphe are cancelled. Obviously they dropped that person from their list and obviously if I do say they continue to sell that person and that Shane person's collab, I will no longer use their products, but apparently they're no longer selling them, but I don't know. I'm not sure who's buying the pig mirrors and the gray palettes anyway, but let's move. I'm not sure if she's cancelled. She obviously did Pussy Talk, which I love. This Pussy Talk, Put you white sale. She obviously said that she got COVID nineteen, and she did a video about this. But people, people were saying they don't care, and that she has a only clans like the KKK, allegedly. And um, I do feel, like, <laughs> um, I do feel like with Doja, the situation was brushed under the rug very swiftly, and I feel like. Sis needs to explain a bit more about what was going on, but Doja Cat's so talented, but I just don't know for her. I feel like since that situation, I look at her like, I have to give it a sideways look. If it wasn't for the City Girls and Pussy Talk, I wouldn't really be about it, but I just don't know with Doja Cat, like, I, oh, I don't know. I, I feel like with her though, it's gonna be, I don't know. Oh, drink is so strong. How, how much percent is this vodka? Let's have some more. 
Okay, so guys, we need to speak about Tristan. You know, Tristan at dates. Hold on, did I speak about this in my last sip and slay? Yes, I did. How um, Kanye spoke about how Larsa Pippen alleg allegedly slept with um, Tristan, Larsa Pippen, which I believe is very, very true. But allegedly, allegedly, alleged, alleg guys, this is a bitch. Anyway, so Tristan got his hair done and guys, Tristan's for the streets though, he's for, he's for the streets. Chloe, he ain't yours boo. Guys, Tristan looks fine. But first of all, Tristan, that is a, is that a lace? What, what in the Amari in, in the, the, you got served is going on here because it's either a lace or it's pieces, but Tristan is fine though anyway, but he's so good looking, but he's for the streets guys, he's for the streets. I'm not sure how Chloe's still with him even though the whole Jordan situation, but I don't know. I just feel like... Okay, and the last situation, I've, I spoke about her earlier, but guys, I really like Dream Doll. <sighs> I like the song that... Uh, 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 nah, nah, nah. But the thing is with Dream Doll, though, is I... I oh, she tries to sound like Nicki. There's one song yet, I'm not sure what song it is, but... I can't play it because of copyright, but she sounds like Nicki Minaj. Do we like Dream Doll? Guys, in America, why do people just get put on? Like, it, it's like me being out there and hanging around with like Nicki Minaj or like a rapper, I'll get put on. I feel like the culture's so different. Mm, guys, my eyes look so nice. I'm gonna do this look for you. Do you guys want a soft glam look? Because I just love this eye look. Oh, God, it's so cute. And we do a nude, we, we do it. Guys, I'm too drunk, okay? But that's the end of the topics, but let's do cupping or dropping, because I love this so much. Let's do, are we cupping or are we dropping? Trend mood edition. Okay, I'm on trend mood, guys. This vlog is getting me so hot. Okay, so, a lot of you guys, I actually posted my Becca um, video, and a lot of you guys are messaging me being like, Oh my god, how was it? How was it? Guys, it actually is. I've actually got it here. It's actually such a good product. I just you know but you know what Becca should have done, yeah? They should have done these in you know like the Charlotte Toby flawless filter. They should have done this in one, two, three, and four, and it would have been revolutionary. Like I wish oh if they did this in tinted colours, just the same as it is, guys, this would have been a banger because it's clear. Oh, Becca, I love you though so much. But anyway, let's, okay, let's go to, okay, so these are, okay, so she's posted, what's this? Who's this by? Oh, Laurie, I've got a new mascara called Air Volume. We cup in or drop in? Mm, Laurie, our mascaras are really quite good, so I, I'd probably try this out. I don't read, mm, I think the only mascara that I only can, ever can use is Benefit Bad Girl. I cannot use any other mascara. I actually, I actually like the Papagraph one actually. It's really, really good as well. But again, if you have long lashes, don't. Mascaras tend to work for more longer lashes. Like, I've never been a fan of Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's an okay mascara, but you have to have long lashes for it to work for you. But um, the next is the um, Patrick Star One Size Fits All. Are we cupping or are we dropping? I would cup this because I've met Patrick's um, top star, not Tar, sorry, I'm getting confused. And he's probably one of the nicest influencers I've ever met. He's very real, um, he's very genuine, very sweet. And his story just speaks volumes to me. He's a man in makeup and you don't see a lot of men in makeup bringing up their own lines. And I'll probably get this to him. Um, the palette looks really, really beautiful. And I just know Patrick has put so much of his heart and soul into this. So I'll definitely pick this up. The next thing is the Wayne Goss Beautylish palette. So I know my girl Kelsey Brianna J has done something with him or something. Um, I've never, I've met Wayne Goss once and he's actually really a really sweet guy. For me, I wouldn't cut this. I just wouldn't. No shade, but his stuff is quite expensive. I was actually baffled to see how expensive his brushes are. I would like to try it, but I don't think I would buy it. I'm not sure. I just feel like it's just a bit inaccessible for everyone and the price point is very high but I do love that he's using models of, of, of more of a mature age of different ranges and he's obviously doing the swatches on every arm Wayne Goss knows what he's doing he's very very smart and he knows what he's doing he's a very very smart man okay the next one is Morphe 2 so I've actually done a review on this already again I would probably tell you to um if I was gonna cop this I would tell you to get the skin gloss 
dot eye glosses, dot eye pigments, and just a skin tint. Um, it's I think it's targeted at a much a younger audience, and I don't think it's that deep to get. Um, it's very glossy but very remixed. Um, the skin tint I've been using most days is beautiful. It's really really nice. It lasts really nice in the skin, and it does look good over the Becca. But again, it's not that deep to get. Okay, so the Sailor Moon ColourPop has been released again back in stock. I'm not gonna lie, I'm such a huge fan of Sailor Moon, but I definitely, they sent it to me and I like it, but the palette for me was a bit unusable because with that kind of palette, you have to, so hold on, sorry, my friend's messaging me. So this is the palette here and you have to base, it was just very, it was very chalky on me, but um, I, I, I've still got it just because I looked. I'm a Sailor Moon hoe. Moon, prism, power. I am drunk. I am fully drunk. The next thing is by Busy Art. Um, I've used their palettes before. Very good quality. Um, to me, this looks like ash in a bottle. Wouldn't cop it. Very cool tones. Very not me. Ooh, let me show you the Huda Beauty um, highlighter. Let me guys know, let me show it you one second. I'll be back. So I've actually got this highlight. Um, let me show it to you. Um, actually have, actually forgot I had it. Do you guys want a video on this? Let me show you. I'm not gonna swatch it because I want you to just see it. Look how big it is. It's, let me compare it to Charlotte Tilbury. Let me see how big it is compared to Charlotte Tilbury. It's that, ooh, wow. It's not scented. You know how it loves a scent. <laughs> you know how you know how to love to scent. This is gorgeous. I want, if you guys want a video on this, you should I do a full face of Holy Beauty and use this? Let me know, comment down below. This looks stunning. The next is Dragon Beauty Dragon Glass. Are we copying by Nikita? I don't see any nudes. It's just, is that a black? I personally wouldn't cop this. I don't see a nude for a deeper skin tone, but I love her character, but to know for me what else is there this will be the last one this is oh ooh. Stacey Marie is doing a collaboration with B Public Cosmetics when is this out it's coming soon oh this looks amazing I would definitely cop this I'm gonna try and get them to send it to me because I did send me some palettes actually which I need to use in some videos um, a lot of you guys are asking me if I'm gonna review Fenty Skin no um, they didn't send it to me, they sent it to basically everyone that sent me, which isn't shade, you know what, they basically just have people they want to send it out to, but um, I've I watched people's videos on it to know that if I would like it, and I'd probably only get the fat water, I probably wouldn't get anything else, because I'm kind of like really in locked into my skincare routine, but um, I won't be doing a review on it, and um, that's on that but obviously I still stand Fenty Beauty but I just won't be reviewing that line but um, there's no shade against it it's just what it is guys I think I need Botox you know because I'm getting do you guys think I need Botox anyway that is the end of Sip and Slay um I actually prefer them live just because I just like interacting with you guys I love you guys so much and I think I am gonna call you guys the plastics I hope you guys don't find that offensive because the plastics I don't you I don't want you to, to, to use the term plastics as fake but the plastics is just a group that we are we are fabulous we are fierce we are one like you know what I mean the plastics with a dollar sign because this pussy talk Gucci Gucci, 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 Gucci Chanel. Chanel. Thank you guys for watching the Sip and Slay. Next week will be live. It will be amazing. The vlog on Sunday is going to be epic. Not epic, but it's going to be like really, really good. Um, I did a lot of things. Treated myself to something. I just watched the vlog, girl. And I'll see you on Sunday. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. And I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Period.